it's over. Literally, I just stepped inside for a coffee for just like a little bit and it just like pouring rain outside now. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Ugh. We got little spring rolls today. It's new, new on the menu. Mm. They've also got some really fancy water and they just give you bottles of it if you want it. Margarita, of course. And the last time you saw me, just a couple days ago, I was in Dublin and you might be wondering how on earth did you get back in Hong Kong? It's a really long story which I'm gonna explain. You sent me to Ireland, I had a great time. You could have sent me anywhere in Europe, but you sent me to a new country. The weather was great, but I did too much too quickly. You see, I did a week and I did like jam-packed schedule. But towards the end of a week, I just got really, really at the end of it, I was like, I'm sick of traveling. I am done. This isn't even fun anymore. I'm ready to go home, take a break. What makes it worse is that by the end of my Ireland trip, I had like 13 or 14 videos that I had shot that still needed to be edited and put on YouTube. So I've got this mountain backlog of work that I still have to do. And everything from Hong Kong and Taiwan even, I still hadn't finished yet. I was exhausted and I was burnt out. So I need to fly home. I spent a couple days in Barcelona and I actually hate Barcelona. No, I just, I strongly dislike like Barcelona. I find it frustrating. If you want a great holiday in Spain, go to Malaga or like literally any city in the south is incredible. I just find Barcelona overrun and annoying and expensive for what it is. And the beach isn't very good. Okay, I made my point. I get to Phoenix, but the thing is that every year right around the same time, I get sad. Seasonal affective disorder. But the summer just kills me. Like every year around summertime, I get so, so sad and annoyed and frustrated with everything. All I'm thinking is it's so hot, I want to die literally every hour. I know it's a problem because I get to this point where it's not even like, oh, I want to go do something away from here. It's like literally I want nothing. Nothing sounds exciting anymore. I'm just so frustrated. It kills me. I don't know why I get so emo during the summer, but I just do. Most people get sad during the winter time. It's like a scientific proven fact, but I grew up in Arizona, so I'm convinced that I get it every summer. Between the burnout from doing so much in such a little time and the sad, I was not productive basically all summer long. It was rough. You know I had to go get seconds. They even got these little shrimp dumplings. Oh, so good. So I made a vow to myself that I wasn't gonna film any more videos until I finished my backlog. And I thought, oh, a month, I can do these videos in a month, that should be no problem. I got a few done, but it just, it didn't work out that way. The good news, I was able to take care of some errands and stuff I needed to get done that I couldn't do from Europe. Got a new iPhone, which was great because my old iPhone only had 32 gigabytes of storage. Got to drive around Phoenix a lot. I ate so much Chick-fil-A, it's not even funny. Yep, thank you. Hallelujah! I was able to trade in that old iPhone when I bought the new iPhone and I bought a drone. drone in the park and got a stuck in a tree. Um, that was great. England was eliminated in the semifinal of the World Cup and I legitimately cried. I turned 27 this summer, which was crazy because now I'm at the age where I feel like I'm like 21 or 22, but I'm just a full on adult. Like it's kind of, it's kind of freaky. Ugh, I'm an adult now. Like there's no, I'm an adult. 
August is coming up and I have a flight booked back to Asia. When I came home from Hong Kong in February earlier this year, I booked a round trip instead of a one way, because remember, it's usually cheaper to book a round trip than it is to book a one way. I said that in one of my videos. Suggestion is gonna pop up for you right now if you wanna watch it. It's at the end of it, but it's a great video. It was cheaper, so I booked it far in advance. I figured, oh, summer I'll be busy. I come back to Asia and do some stuff there. I was able to upgrade that flight to business class. I flew American Airlines business class all the way to Hong Kong, 15 hours. It was incredible, but I had still promised myself that I wouldn't film any more videos until I finished. So I just shot some on my cell phone and I'm playing them right now as I say this. The pajamas were on fleek. Like, I still have them. Came in this cool little bag. They're made by Casper. It even has a cool little like, pocket in here for Oh, it's so great. Uh, but it was so fun, it was so great, I enjoyed it so much. Man, and the second I leave the airport and step outside, I wanted to die again. Not only was it hot, it was super muggy. All of a sudden, all the sadness just ugh, hit me again. Right in, right in the chest. I'm really familiar with Hong Kong, it's like home, so I just kind of made it a little home base for a while and tried to catch up on my work. It's about two weeks ago, I was supposed to fly to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I've never been, figured it'd be great to see a new country, it's cheap. <laughs> And so the morning of my flight, I pull up the weather and I'm like, huh. Yeah, I just have so much work still to do. Trying to see a new country, being hot, like it's just not gonna end well. So I just skipped it, I just skip it. Like it's the thing that I do is I have flights that, that are booked and I just skip them and don't do them. I'm a weirdo like that, but I just, I think people too often just do stuff that they don't want to do because they feel like they have to do it. It's like, you know what? If you don't want to do it, just don't do it. Like, just be honest with yourself. Don't do something just because you feel like you have to. That's just dumb. Instead of just staying in Hong Kong, I've been in Hong Kong for the last two weeks, bouncing around the city, been working, catching up, and I'm excited because today, I'm done! I finished it! I'm ahead! My queue's done! Everything is done! My backlog is done! I uploaded my last video today! And I'm going live again, baby! It's been so frustrating just making all these videos and having all this crazy travel news come up and all this stuff in my life come up. And it's just been frustrating because by the time I actually got the video up, it has been super old news. Like, just can't, can't do that, it's not fun. My new rule, I'm not gonna shoot another video until I finish the one I'm on. But yeah, I said I wasn't gonna leave Hong Kong until I finished all of my work. And today I did it. It's all done, and so now I can leave. And that's why I'm here at the airport. I knew I was gonna finish today, so two days ago, late at night, I looked online through all my usual search sources, and I found a super cheap last minute flight with points on Virgin Atlantic, which is only 22,500 points. Combined with the American Express 30% transfer bonus going on right now, I was able to book a flight from Hong Kong to London for only 40 bucks and 18,000 points. 12 hours, a last minute fare. This flight would have cost over $1,000. Points are awesome and it's another great example of why it pays to have transferable points because if you have American Express or Chase points or City points, you can transfer them to multiple different airlines and get the best deal instead of just whichever you have the points for like American. Because American would have charged me 35,000 points to fly to London from Hong Kong today. And I would have had to pay more in cash too probably. I'm still, I'm working on my points video. I'm working on my cheap flights video. It's coming up soon now that the backlog is done. Fine, flying to London, spend a little time there, and then, I don't know, I think I'm gonna go to Belarus, maybe catch some KHL hockey games. Uh, I haven't been to the Baltics yet. Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania sound good. I don't know yet, and that's fantastic. All I know is that I'm done with summer, like, inside now, I don't have to experience anything over the 80 degrees for like another like month until I get back to Phoenix, but you know how it is. All that to say, that was my summer. It could have been a lot better, but the lessons I've learned from this experience was don't do so much. And I broke my own cardinal rule with my Ireland trip by packing so much into my trip. Pick one thing a day that you really want to do, and then if you get to do anything else, awesome. But if not, don't beat yourself up about it, because if you do so much, it's like you need a vacation from your vacation. That's just dumb. 
Like, and this is the way we travel as Americans so much too, is we have to go, 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 kind of do everything. And we never really enjoy the moments that we have. We have the Instagram shots that say, yeah, I was there and I saw it. You have a picture of you in front of the Duomo, but you never just like kick back. I'm in Italy right now. This is fantastic. Just stop doing so much. Burnout is real. Not just like your trip and your fun, but I think in life too, like all that expectation, like if it's unrealistic, all it's gonna do is just drag you down and keep you from actually rising to them and above and succeeding. For me personally, I need to work in smaller pieces. Like when I have that giant mountain of work to do, it's just, it's just looking over me like, like it's about to crush me. I'm just so ADD, like I just like, when I can finish something, it's like I get a win, I'm motivated, I can go do something else. So I'm just trying to work in smaller pieces. My buddy Daniel and I share a, uh, a common goal for our lives and that is we both want to live more winter days than summer days. And this year I screwed that up. I went to Asia in the summertime and that's, it's just dumb. Like it's always hot here, but just, don't go when it's hotter, it's dumb. That was the flight I should have said, hey, you know what, we're gonna skip that one. Next year, I'm going to Australia or South America or South Africa for the summertime because it's just, I can't, I can't, can't do it. It's awful. That's it, that's all I got. I just figured I'd update you on what's going on. Exciting news too, I've been working on my online print shop. I've been working on a few other fun things coming down the pipeline. If you like some travel memorabilia and stuff like that. Fun things to watch out for, keep your eyes on the channel. And of course, I'm just excited because I just feel like I have my life back. Like I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. I'm just excited to travel again. Like I just, I wasn't, like I wasn't, and now I am, so, yeah, so, thanks for watching this video. I'm off to London, so I will see you on the ground when I get there. Travel on. <laughs>